Back, back, back. Come on. Oh, boy. Yes, you are heavy. Mm. I love my darling. Oh, you've picked up a bit of weight. Good. <laughs> I think three lions are happy. I think so. You think they may be just happy that they're going on a walk? Do you know where you're going? Do you know where you're going? Where are you going? Are you where you going? Are you where you going? <laughs> mood good spirits i think everyone's very happy spring is in the air so this is vaetsi livy and Ginny's first spring walk and the weather is absolutely fantastic and i look forward to just seeing what they get up to today driven and especially if an uh, animal of interest has marked or walked by then they just cannot help themselves in going to explore so yeah just interesting world that they live in and uh, I always say humans uh, live in a totally different world we live in a a visual world, uh, full colour. Lion's colour vision is not quite like ours. Uh, not that they don't see full colour, and um, they are very scent driven. So the world and its smells drifting through, and I can smell. Ooh, jeez, a very strong smell now coming from down in the dam here, or in the river. Could be a. I think it's a carcass. I think they found something. Let's see. Hey boy. Oh. What's here? Oh. Always oh, a little bit airy walking down in these ravines because you just never know what's hiding down here you do need to keep your wits about you um, luckily I'm in good company I have some uh, lions as companions <laughs> but it's yet full throttle <laughs> oh boy with a funny kitty Definitely, I've lost track of the smile now, but I see uh, Livy's onto something. No, she's just rolling in some poo poo. Oh! <laughs> Luckily, oh, this GoPro grips quite robust. <laughs> I told you these girls are full of it today. Look at Vietzi go. So, people always ask me about 
do the lines um, change their attitude towards me when I change, for instance, my deodorant or if I wear a new uh, shirt or a watch, a new watch, the smell of the watch, the new leather shoes. The answer is obviously lions do react to new things and new smells and one has to be smart uh, the way you introduce them to uh, the object depending on what it is. Obviously if it's just a new top it's a pretty, pretty simple procedure of just really wearing it. But if it's a whole new outfit, let's say for example we're doing a shoot and somebody says Kev we want you to wear a, uh, a suit then it's something that is completely novel. Um, it's the smell, it's the, te the texture, it's the look, um, it's all completely different so I need to be uh, aware of that. But what I would do is kind of introduce uh, the lines to the suit piece by piece and uh, get them used to it that way, get their get this smell all over it. Normally some uh, slobber or a bite or a claw uh, and then once once they're used to it, then they really couldn't care if it's part of the furniture. My new uh, G-Wagon, the, the Mercedes G-Wagon that I've just got, it's uh, absolutely imperative to introduce the lines to the car. And it's not always uh, easy because you actually have to take a leap of faith eventually. And uh, that leap of faith being that the lines will um, sniff the, the car and potentially even lick it. And then like everything else, once they realize that the car is going to become part of the furniture, then uh, they, they will leave it alone. Okay, so here is a human being walking out in the bush with three lions, a male and two females. And what everyone wants to know is, well, why don't they just run away? And um, why do they also follow a particular direction that, for example, I set off in? And I set, I set the route that we're going to really go and then we all kind of walk in that direction. Because lions uh, like security and they like familiarity. Then there's no real reason to want to wander off. And I suppose the comparison is your dog. With the lions it's a similar thing. The more they walk, uh, the more they see that every time they return, they get to go again and again. So they learn. They're not stupid. Lions are quite smart. Not quite as smart as hyenas, but nevertheless, they're, they're smart enough. The other question, the other answer is why do they follow a particular direction or follow me? Or um, Well, it's not always the case. Generally, they will allow me to, to set the course and they will kind of set off in that direction um, but every now and again um, uh, their noses will lead them in the direction that they want to go it's typically a numbers game so if for example Vietzi, Livy and myself head off in a particular direction then Ginny even though she's gone somewhere else will eventually um, fall back into line and she'll follow us and it's really just um, you know, playing on the, the knowledge of the behavior of the animals and knowing uh, the particular individuals, knowing the characters. So knowing Livy, knowing Vietzi, knowing Jenny. Today they're definitely on a mission. They're not, um, they're not completely chilled and just kind of, you know, ambling down the road. <coughs> I can see Vietzi is quite um, directional. He has pointed his nose into a certain direction. Now, the reason for that <laughs> is that uh, we have had the wild lions come through and I'm pretty certain that some of the girls are in estrus and wherever these females in e that are in estrus have marked is obviously a big signal to Vietzi saying hey we're receptive we're in search of a beautiful male like yourself and uh, so for him that is like a moth to a flame. Now I'm going to let him walk about another um, 500 meters to a kilometer and then I'm going to load them. 